yeah hi everyone and uh, uh, this is j michael preetham and uh, i will be doing your third sem general english uh, classes and uh, uh, this video basically is uh, the introductory session that we that i had with uh, your classmates uh, i say classmates because i assume that this video is for those uh, folks who couldn't make it for the introductory session or sessions rather because we had two sessions so i decided to do this video uh, hopefully it will give you uh, uh, clarity on uh, how to go about uh, sort of you know how to go about in this particular semester as far as general english is concerned uh, for sem 3 general english is a three credit course uh, if you remember i think uh, last semester you had uh, general english as a four credit course uh, but uh, now it will be a three credit course right so that's as far as uh, your credits are concerned a little bit about me and uh, so that you know you you, you know whom you are um, being taught by um, it's very important to know your teachers so i'm j michael preetham as you can see i presently had the uh, internal quality assurance cell of the college uh, and also new initiatives uh, i've been with the college for the past seven this is the eighth academic year so i started off in 2013 but i was also associated with saint mary's uh, in the year 2006-7 so that uh, that shows that i i have a long association with this college uh, but as far as my teaching is concerned i've been teaching for the past 22 years so and i've been teaching english so you are in safe hands when it comes to my experience and uh, and also not just that i i believe that uh, teachers are always learners so uh, it's not that i'm here i'm the guru and you guys have to listen to me my basically my form of teaching would be i would encourage participatory teaching where i would welcome a lot of your inputs in my class otherwise it becomes one way it becomes boring um, I, I love to teach this is my primary vocation and uh, and this is basically what I've done I've done all these 22 years and uh, I've taught students from different levels I've taught students from different nationalities because I happen to teach in two other countries for about nine years so that's a little bit about me. I love sports and I love my students and uh, very rarely you would find me uh, irritable or angry in class because it doesn't serve the purpose. Uh, there are going to be some rules which are going to be which I'm going to be discussing in a little while uh, but I think it it has to be a mutual respect for each other only then classes are more meaningful, interesting and fun. So that's as far as I'm concerned. I hope the next few months and the next uh, 40 to 50 sessions are going to be ones which uh, are beneficial for both parties, that is me and uh, all of you involved. Uh, thank you so much for your patient uh, listening. Uh, we'll take it from here. I have a few slides lined up so that we, we know where we are going we know what we are doing and there's clarity on that count so we'll go ahead with the other part of this particular session right so this is uh, basically what the plan for the session is uh, we will have an introduction um, as far as introduction myself is concerned it's already done we'll be I'll be introducing you to the syllabus. We'll look at a few do's and don'ts. And, uh, I'll be talking about how important to begin well whenever you're beginning a task. It's very important to begin well. So I've titled it as Well Begun is Half Done. 
and uh, uh, the last thing is the takeaways so when I say introduction uh, I'm talking about obviously I'm talking about uh, a very very important part of introducing oneself is uh, you know you go ahead and uh, do your what do you say you you talk about yourself right and this is something that is almost become customary mundane uh, monotonous to a certain extent uh, but then uh, today I'm going to talk to you about one particular incident that happened uh, with me a few years ago a long time ago in fact it was I think 1997-98 uh, this happened to be my first job uh, it was a job of um, a telemarketer I was working for a, a very big company and uh, our office was located in the Krishna Abroy that's how it was called those days the Taj Krishna and our office was located on uh, one of those floors there and it was a nice decent office there about there were about uh, 15 of them working along with me and uh, it was my first day so I happened to go there and uh, uh, you know the boss was uh, he's a, he was an Australian guy he was sitting on the table and uh, he said hello yes uh, he asked me to go ahead and introduce myself uh, at that point of time the all the introductions that I had done were in school and maybe in college to some extent so I did I was not very clear about an introduction so I uh, went ahead and I said okay my name is uh, Michael and I was about to continue and all of them together all the 14 of them together including the boss was sitting on the table uh, shouted aloud they said so what and it was you know almost intimidating uh, because I was like you know I was shocked stunned with their response I was not expecting this on my first day uh, for my first job and um, one of them said are you Michael Jordan and then somebody else one of those girls working along with me said uh, are you Michael Jackson so what uh, they were trying to teach me a lesson on introducing oneself uh, it's not about your name it's not at all about your name it's much more than your name I had forgotten to uh, reveal to them about my uh, surname because you know surnames in Telangana Andhra Pradesh and this part of India are sometimes funny so I didn't want to talk about it I didn't want to reveal it but they told me that I need to start with my surname so it, it's, it might sound fancy it might sound great when I say J Michael Pritham but it's actually Jakula Michael Pritham which is which sort of helps me to identify myself uh, with uh, this part of the country Telangana right so it's about your surname it's also about the importance of telling the people around you who you are and who you are is not defined by your name who you are is defined by your likes your dislikes uh, maybe about your choice of why you're doing what you're doing uh, it's also about a little bit about a little bit more about yourself than just the impression that you give them uh, through the way you dress the way you appear uh, your hairdo and uh, other stuff so as you can see that when I said teacher and, and students I started off talking about myself gave a pretty good detailing about myself uh, because I, I had this so what predicament in my mind so I'm trying to tell you remember this for life it's very very important for you to let others know a lot more about you than just your first impressions which uh, which obviously they have gathered on uh, looking at you and the way you uh, conduct yourself we go to the next uh, category uh, next thing on the introduction about the course as I said it's a three credit course um, it's um, mm, 
you, you would have about three units and uh, uh, just like you uh, you had in your second semester you will have different components to this particular unit uh, the focus on areas like pronunciation vocabulary sort of reduces here in the third semester it's more on uh, building your writing skills building uh, your comprehension skills uh, and uh, also to do with a few documents uh, about which you need to learn now that you uh, you are halfway through your undergraduation so uh, we have about 45 sessions maximum uh, and uh, as I said earlier I would prefer a participatory form of uh, teaching and learning and not just one person coming here and doing all the talking so that would mean there would be a lot of presentations there would be a lot of opportunities for you uh, guys to come forward and uh, present uh, yourself a lot of brainstorming and a lot of uh, participation from your side that I'll just leave it at that uh, uh, we'll be discussing more about the course when we uh, as we go ahead uh, the expectations expectations are pretty simple uh, now that I've said participatory form of uh, teaching and learning I would want uh, a lot more of inputs from your side I would want all of you to come ahead and do the talking uh, we live in a world where presentations have become very very important you need to go out there and talk to your teammates your, your, your employees if you're an entrepreneur your teammates if you happen to work uh, in a team and uh, gone are the days where we work individually we all work are supposed to work uh, as a team and that that's true for any career that you choose to take up uh, I would expect uh, participation I would expect you to uh, sort of mute your uh, phones when you are in class uh, although we would depend on the gadgets uh, from time to time and uh, I believe that we cannot do without them so we, we will have opportunities to work along with our gadgets there will be classes where we would depend heavily on them uh, we would use them for recording we would use them for other purposes uh, because we are talking about presentations uh, I would um, you know, look, go ahead and look at uh, the do's and don'ts uh, they are in bold uh, obviously the reason they are in bold is because we need to understand the significance of the do's and don'ts uh, uh, like for example uh, I put the do's and don'ts of the instructor first uh, the instructor is supposed to expect it to discuss the course objectives unit objectives in detail which I'm going to do in the next few classes uh, the instructor is supposed to be punctual to class mentor the students and by uh, provide them career guidance and that's something that I'll be doing from time to time because uh, this is something that we as students didn't benefit from but I believe that you folks could benefit from the guidance that whatever guidance that we could offer to you so I'll be doing that review the teaching learning process from time to time uh, I forgot to mention earlier the, about the importance of Moodle the learning management system uh, the importance of the session wise breakup the importance of those videos that we have placed there the material we place there the additional resources please go ahead and use them um, more effectively uh, rather than just depending on uh, the classes whether online or offline so the, the Moodle becomes very very important for you so use it uh, judiciously effectively identify learning abilities help students accordingly I believe each one uh, present here each one of the 50 60 students is special is important you all come with your own strengths and weaknesses just like I come with my strengths and weaknesses the students as far as students are concerned uh, they are expected to be in time to class uh, you will not be allowed five minutes after the bell is given or after the online session begins uh, you're supposed to maintain cordial atmosphere in classes in the class with your friends as well as with your teacher come with your textbook even if it's an online class please have your textbook with you because that's that forms the basis uh, of the teaching learning 
uh, timely submission of assignments and uh, participation uh, assignments would mean uh, a lot of written activity but it would also mean a lot of uh, uh, presentation so I'm I hope uh, I've kept it brief but um, let's stick to this so that you know you uh, it would be uh, sort of beneficial time that we spend here uh, for the next uh, 45 sessions or so right so as I said in the you know the plan for the session I titled one of the uh, one of the parts of this particular session as well begun is half done I think it was one of the values that you learned in your second semester uh, so why did I say well begun is half done even as we embark on this journey for the next 45 sessions I I want to make it very clear at the beginning of uh, this semester that you need to know exactly where you're headed and I'm talking to the BA students third semester BA students and this is one question that I asked your classmates uh, was do you realize how fortunate you are uh, because you're doing about 10 papers related to English maybe you'll be doing 10 to 12 papers because uh, I think your batch will have English in the fifth and sem sixth semester as well so when I spoke to them I said 10 papers 10 courses uh, or papers rather because general English is uh, a course that you will have in six semesters and you also have communicative English papers like uh, uh, phonetics you have English language skills you have something on referencing skills and uh, you also have uh, professional writing skills what I'm trying to tell you is you are fortunate you are lucky compared to your friends from the other programs because all they have is maximum four to six papers of general English but you are specializing in areas like writing because you have two papers on writing you have reading you have phonetics and you have uh, I think you also have one paper on um, focusing on speaking skills you have one paper on soft skills so what I'm trying to tell you today is um, make best use of what you have realize that you are not just another BA class you are the BA class because of the type of papers type of courses that you do and that that's very very important for you to hold your self-esteem high uh, because I'm sure if you talk to some of your friends out there and uh, discuss what you're doing in your six semesters they'll be astonished they'll be they will most of them have this feeling that you are special because you you seem to have this command over this English language and some of you may say well uh, sir but uh, the contents in those papers uh, are not of high quality who cares because at the end of uh, the day at the end of your program under graduation course uh, you basically come out with 10 to 12 papers related to English and when this uh, the transcripts are seen uh, by you know by your employers or uh, by people abroad when you apply for your higher studies all they're going to see is the titles of those papers and your grades and your score CGPA whatever well I'm not trying to uh, focus more on your grades my focus here is on the courses that you do set your expectations before the course begins and I started it on a very high note trying to tell you how fortunate you are how uh, when it appears on paper your transcripts or your memorandum uh, all that appears is your 12 courses that you've done out of uh, 30 which uh, I think uh, around 30 which are just on uh, polishing your English language skills the LSRW skills listening speaking reading and writing so I would want to start uh, I want you guys to start this semester on that note 
let's have clarity of communication it's very very important for you guys to write down list down what list out what you are expecting from each course that you're doing so the same thing i would want you to let me know in the coming classes um, communicate with me about what you expect from the uh, general english class uh, of semester three it's very very important for you to do that if you want to get the best out of me get the best out of the course so i would want you to do that in the next few days jot down uh, what you're expecting from this course and then we will discuss it either one-on-one -on -one or uh, when we meet in uh, the coming classes uh, asking open-ended questions many times you know uh, i sometimes uh, uh, um, you know think about the students in the lkg and the ukg in schools where you know they seem to be asking any type of questions and you know somewhere down the line by the time you come to grade seven eight nine uh, that is one particular skill or quality that goes missing in students so i would want it to be revived at least in my classes ask open-ended questions not questions where you're expecting a yes or a no and i've given an example what do i stand to gain from the general english class it's very very important to ask these questions guys it's not so much uh, about what you get in your internal assessment how much you score in your internal exams it's not even about how much you score in your final exams it's all about how much of learning has happened and what is the takeaway from this particular um, course i'm moving ahead to the next slide um basically uh, one thing that i think we missed out was takeaway right uh, uh, although it's not listed here I, I as a separate slide i would want to talk to you about the takeaway it's very very important to identify what's the takeaway from the course so when i say thank you for your cooperation and time i i i want your cooperation no doubt i want your time i want your focused attention but if you uh, don't know what is the takeaway from this course from these 45 sessions all our efforts will be in vain so I'm, I'm i'm talking to each one of you directly today and asking you to list out a few takeaways just like you listed out what are your expectations what are your takeaways at the end of this course it's not just about what you want in this course it's also about what the takeaways are going to be like for example one of the takeaways could be i would want to come out as a better communicator i would want to come out as someone who does presentations more effectively i would want to come out as someone who converses in english effectively i would want to come out as a better team player and uh, although this particular skill is uh, is not associated with English language I would want you to understand that we are going to work together as a team uh, even as we continue doing what we are doing in this particular semester so uh, once more a quick recap of what we we've been doing uh, what we've been doing here is that what we've been doing here is that uh, we've been looking at uh, number one We've been looking at what uh, comprises this course. We've tried to understand how the importance of introduction. I've also told you about the importance of beginning well uh, and uh, defining what your expectations are from this particular course. And uh, then the last thing was about takeaways. It's equally important as uh, uh, all the other components of this particular session. So that's where I would like to end. Uh, thank you for your time, your cooperation. I'm looking forward to uh, having a fruitful time with uh, you guys from BA. And um, I want you to start on a high. I want you to start uh, respecting yourself. I would want you to start on a high self-esteem because you are doing a one-of-a-kind course. Uh, you are doing, you are part of a one-of-a-kind program, BA. Uh, in um, you know it's actually called as BA vocational we call it PA mass communication uh, but there are so many other important components of this course uh, I want you to start off 
you know respecting yourself respecting your name i would want you to start off uh, with um, the ability to introduce yourself in the right way i would want you to begin uh, on a high i would want you to begin with the confidence uh, that i want all of you to carry forward even as we go ahead and do the remaining semesters and graduate on a high uh, from this particular college and from this particular university i don't want you to carry a lot of negatives i don't want you to think about um, the components of some of those courses i understand on paper they don't seem to be great but then what i'm trying to tell you is at the end the takeaway at the end when you have when you get your uh, transcripts when you get your uh, degree nobody is going to see what the components of their the course were they would all be all struck at the type of courses that you have completed uh, in the process of graduating and graduating finally thank you so much have a good time once more thank you for uh, for your patience uh, and uh, looking forward to meet you in the uh, coming sessions Thank you and bye. Have a good day.